one, two. Why is that only go through one channel? Maybe we want to go on one. That's better. It's that time of the week again. The match of the round in Group 6 of Country Rugby League. Brought to you by the team at Group 6 League Live. It's that time of the week again. The match of the round in Group 6 of Country Rugby League. Brought to you by the team at Group 6 League Live. It is that time of the week once again. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Night League, MacArthur Sports Radio, bringing you the Camden Derby of sorts tonight. It's Camden, Goanna, Camden Rams and South West Goannas are already on the field. We'll go through the teams as we go. It's Mike Sheen with you for the call here on MacArthur Sports Radio tonight. Hope you're having a great Saturday night wherever you are around the MacArthur. It'll be Camden running as we look at it right to left. Defending the bowling club end of the ground in the first half. Mason Ceruto has the ball set on the tee. Damien Briscoe is our referee and says, let's rock and roll, boys. We go for Saturday Night League on MacArthur Sports Radio. Bo Sirikalu takes the uh, kick off, traps it and takes the run. Makes about 15 metres on the first play. And he'll play it on the northern end of the ground. The go and his team, Richard Niger at fullback. Mitchell Baird and Manuia Tomotu. On the wings, Bo Sirikalu is one of the centres. Aaron Viles is your 5'8". The forward pack, Anthony Booker, Joseph Fa'alaval, uh, Rupeni Karanikiao, apologies if I get these wrong, Jeremiah Le Leoto, uh, Verb Moe Moe and Amy Yasa are the starting side for uh, the Goanners tonight. They're in their predominantly uh, local at Scarlet Red outfit. For the Rams, Mason Ceruto at fullback, Johnny Griffiths and Jay Kirk on the wings. Alex Kenham and John Martin are the centres. Uh, Brad Speechley is 5'8". Jared Brackenhofer is halfback. Back row is Ben Quinlan, Brad Hopkins and Tamahana Paruru. Phil Oaki, Will Kerr and Bailey Dickinson up front. Their bench, Jack Quinlan, Ben Powers, Steely Brown returning from injury and Jacob Meyer. We should also thank our match day sponsors for tonight's broadcast. Tip Me Up, Distinct Fire Services, Lime Dow Constructions, and Little Bean Cafe. We've had a, about a minute in the first half and the first penalty of the night goes the way of the Camden Rams referee Damien Briscoe finding an infringement against the Goannas. So they're underway with the first penalty of the night. Let's look at ourselves all set up here in Mobile Studio tonight. Here at Camden at uh, Onslow Oval, I should say. You can hear the breeze picking up through our microphones. Arthur. And it looks like it'll be the opening try of the evening. He'll be getting in the corner. I think he has. That'll be the opening try of the night. Going the way of Camden through their centre. And I'll just pick up who that was in a moment. That was Alex Cannon diving over in the left corner to score. We've only had, what, a couple of minutes in the first half and already... The Goannas concede points. Alex Canham has the try on the board for Forte Financial Services. Four points to nil is the score. As you can hear that uh, wind howling through our effects microphones here at Onslow tonight. A bitterly cold Saturday night, as we said. the Rams to play from in front this evening. Most people would expect the Rams to win this one and win comfortably as well. They would certainly be warm favourites coming into this one tonight that uh, they should get the two points here at 
Onslow this evening. Famous old ground in Group 6 Rugby League. Brackenhofer with the conversion attempt is away to the left hand side. So it remains four points to nil. Camden leads. Goanna's on the Forte Financial Scoreboard, the replay for F2 Sportswear. And we'll go around the grounds during the evening for the beer shed, Holly Lee Road, Le Beer. We thank all of those businesses for their support in the, in the 2020 season. So thank the Goanna's Club for allowing us to call the games, at least some of their games on the Saturday nights, even if it is a cold old Saturday night in Camden. We thank them for their support. And support those sponsors that support them. As we mentioned, tip me up. Distinct fire services, Lime Dow Constructions, and Little Bean Cafe. They tell me they're the best coffee in town. Goanne is finding touch from the kickoff, so they get the turnover. There's the front rower in Yasi taking it forward. Plays it now only about 15 metres out from the line at the southern end of the ground, working to our right in the first half. Finally got ourselves all set up. We've had about five minutes in the first. No, no it's uh, four points to nil. Goanna's trail Camden on the Forte financial scoreboard. Goanna's going to the left-hand side. There's the other front rower in Jeremiah Lito. Liato, rather. He'll play it only a couple of metres out from the line. On the Argyle straight side of the ground, we're on the other side of the field. There's Niger coming in from fullback, a little grubber kick into the line. Ceruto read it nicely and he's away and running. Mason Ceruto beats a couple. Still going, Ceruto over the 30. Great run from the fullback, still on the spin. And gets pulled down 15 short of halfway and we're going to have a penalty for a shoulder charge, which I did pick up in running. Penalty goes to the Goannas. Uh, penalty goes to Camden, rather. Brackenhofer pumps it down. Field, has he done enough? No, he hasn't. Stays in the field of play. Good work there from Mitchell Baird. Left winger for the Goannas. Sarah Kalu brings it back. He's about seven metres short of halfway. Just to the left of centre field. And a penalty to the Goannas inside the 10 metres. Coach Mark Baird be happy with that penalty. Conditions fine and clear evening at Onslow, but a very cool Saturday night. Kick will find the line inside the 20, about 15 metres out from the line. At this broadcast side of the ground, can the Goanners respond in kind? Sarah Kalu to take the tap. Gives it off, that's the front rower in Yasi. Three and four there to stop him. Pulled down only about 11 or 12 metres out from the line. Into dummy half is Verb Moe Moe. Fires it off, there's Viles through the hands. Looks like the second rower in Karanikiao. And he'll play it inside the 10. They go to the left hand side, not the best pass and the error comes from the Goannas. Not the best pass from Verb Moe Moe. There's Big Bailey Dickinson rolling forward over the 20, pops it out the back, second phase ball, there's Filawaki to the 30, just short of that line, just to the left of centre field. Sitting at about eight minutes gone in the first half, four points to nil. Camden leads to Goannas, Crosstown derby of sorts. Sloppy play the ball from the second rower there in Hopkins, the veteran second rower. The Rams just short of halfway. It's Filoaki playing it. Kerr back for Brackenhofer. Over the top. Not a bad looking kick. Will it sit up? Yes, it will. It'll sit up for Niger. In fact, that's Baird. Beats one. Beats. Can't beat the second, though. Comes across in cover. In fact, that was the fullback in Niger. I was right the first time. And he come back to the left hand side. You can hear, the, you can hear Mason Ceruto. Barking orders in the background. Ball out the back. Gone back according, according to referee Briscoe. Play on the call. About 10, 12 metres short of halfway in centre field, the Goannas. They come to the left-hand side of the ground towards the you know, CBD side of the ground. And a 
dummy half. That's a good little run. They'll make good ground there to go in. It's up towards the 40 of the, t the Rams on the last. Back for the kick now. What's the kick like? It's a spiral torpedo. Good luck under that. Anybody know Mason Cerudo takes it on the hop. Beats the first, can't beat the second. There's a wall of scarlet and white to pull him down. 15 metres out from his own line in centre field. The AWPM civil clock showing around 10 minutes gone first half. It's Camden Paul going as nil. Mike Sheen with you for a Saturday night from Onslow Reserve. And there's a penalty to the go, penalty to the Rams rather for not rolling away in the tackle. That makes it 3-1 on our Case Statewide Solar Stats Sheet tonight. Case Statewide Solar, proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio and Group 6 League Live in 2021. Kick finds the line, a metre inside. Goanna's territory. Broadcasting tonight from our mobile studios. Trust you're enjoying the coverage. Ten metres in from touch, tap taken by Jake, by Alex Cannon. Finds Hopkins, the veteran back rower. He'll play it. 10 inside. Camden's attacking half. There's the lock forward in uh, Ben Quinlan making a run. Curring to dummy half. They go to the right hand side. As they go to the right side of the field, they'll come away with the ball. Will they? No. Goen has had it. And the ball's been lost. And Goen as will get the scrum feed. About 10 metres out from their own line. The ball's come loose. So the Goanners will dodge a little bullet there. And they'll have the scrum feed. First of the evening for, AW, for Case Statewide Solar. Ball's come loose. Referee Briscoe says, no, it's been lost in the tackle. So scrum feed to Camden. Good attacking position here. About 15 metres out from the Goanna's line. Attacking to our left in the first half. At about 11 or 12 minutes in the first half. Only the one try so far. Ceruto, first receiver. There's Canham. He is the try scorer so far. He won't add to his tally this time around. Pulled down. Inside the 10, is Brackenhofer turning it on the inside for Filoaki. Filoaki towards the line, he's only a few metres out when he plays it. Curry into dummy half. There's Quinlan, that's Ben. Short ball from Brackenhofer, found Dickinson on the outside. He's under the uprights, only a few metres out from the line. They'll go to the right-hand side. Speechley spots a little gap and he's over, Brad Speechley. That was far too easy. That was far too easy from Brad Speechley. And it's eight points to nil. On the Forte Financial scoreboard. That's the second try of the night for the Camden Rams. They've had to work for it tonight, the Rams. The Goanners are really up for this one. I know quite a few of the players backing up for the Goanners from the reserve grade match, which concluded a little earlier. But the Goanners certainly muscling up in defence tonight in the early stages. Looking sharp. But the Rams just showing their class in the end. And they've got two tries on the, on the board so far. Eight points to nil. The Forte Financial, those replays for F2 Sportswear. We've proudly got the F2 Sportswear on tonight. Been a big day. Second game of the day. And uh, well done to the... Camden Rams rugby side recording their first home win of the season. You heard it here on MacArthur Sports Radio earlier this afternoon from Wire Lane. Conversion is successful from Br Brackenhofer. So that makes it 10 points to nil in favour of Camden over the Goannas. And we're about 13 minutes into the first half here at Wire at, uh, Lane. We're at Onslow Oval tonight. Saturday Night League on MacArthur Sports Radio. It's Calvin Fa'apito at halfback for the Goannas tonight. And they've 
They've put it out on the full they have. It's a fourth penalty to the Rams. So one out on the full from the kickoff. Rams on the attack once again. As we see the Rams pushing up field now, looking for a third try. Ceruto turns it on the inside. Found Alex Cannon dancing his way across field, not making a lot of ground. Trying to step back and through the line. Can he get towards the line? He'll reach out. Did he get it down? I think Damien Briscoe's going to say yes, he did. And that's a third. To the Rams, about 15 minutes in. That makes it 14 points to nil for Forte Financial. And that's a double early to Alex Canham. He's certainly doing it nicely now. The Rams out by three tries with the conversion to come from in front. Middle stages of the first half. Already out by 14. We'll have a drinks break shortly here at Onslow Oval. Saturday Night League on MacArthur Sports Radio. Tomorrow, double headed action. I'll be at Sid Sharp Oval, Oakdale and Campbelltown City's My Broadcast match. Curtis Woodward and Keith Payne will be at Thilmy Sports Ground for the big game. Thilmy and Mittagong. That one on MacArthur Sports Radio Extra tomorrow. Both games kick off at 2.30. Brackenhoffers added the extras from in front, making it 16-0 for Forte Financial. Camden over the Goannas. Keep you on top of the NRL action. Magic round. Underway. And a great win for the West's Tigers in the first match of the weekend yesterday evening. Certainly a cool evening. The breeze does seem to have died down a little. As we check the conditions for Tint Me Up. Proud sponsors of the Goan is also Distinct Fire Solutions, Lime Dow Constructions and Little Bean Cafe. They tell me it's the best coffee in Mount Annan. Lime Bean Cafe. Check them out. Proudly supporting the Goanas in 2021. As we say every week, get behind the businesses that support your team because without them, we wouldn't have teams to play in this competition to cover. Canham down the touchline. Great run, Alex Canham over the 40. Puts the kick on the left foot back on the inside. Ceruto chasing through. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. Great try to Mason Ceruto. That was brilliant from the Camden Rams. That's his first for the night. You can hear the Rams fans celebrating in the background. That makes it 20 nil after 18 minutes for Forte Financial on the replay for F2 Sportswear. That all came down the left-hand side. Cannon made the break, put a lovely left foot kick through on the inside, found his support, and Ceruto waited for the room service delivery, got the bounce and forced it for the try. Far too easy for the Rams tonight. That breeze really picking up. That's their fourth try of the night so far. And we're not even at the quarter way mark of the first half. Brackenhofer with another easy conversion. He should throw this over the left footer. He's kicked two from three tonight so far. Missed his opening attempt. This one far easier and he should throw it over to make it 22 nil in favor of the Rams and he does Damien Briscoe indicates accordingly so it's 18 in fact a 22 nil in favor of Camden over the Goannas the Rams doing it in low gear tonight <coughs> Excuse me, four tries inside the opening 20 minutes. Going let's bring it back to halfway. Very 
start now. High to the left hand side. That'll stay in the field of play this time. So managed to keep it in the field of play. Dickinson brings it back towards the quarter on the first tackle. Just short of it. They go to the left hand side. There's Filawaki taking it forward for another five or six metres. They'll play it now. Brackenhofer turns it inside for Hopkins on the unders line. Plays it 15 short of halfway. About 20 metres in from touch. This broadcast side. The Hilda Reserve, the Onslow Reserve side of the ground, if you like. Facing back towards the Camden CBD. Brackenhofer on the left across field. Not a bad looking kick. Chases it good for, for Camden. Goannas did well to pick that up. Niger did brilliantly down around his bootlaces to take that one. Plays it just outside his own 20. So a good start here for the Goannas. What can they do with it, though? At the wrong end of town, approaching the quarterway mark of the first half. We'll take a short break at the 20 minute mark. Come back to the right hand side. It looks like uh, Fala Alaval on halfway. Now they swing it to the right hand side, the Goannas. Looking for a way through, but not finding one. And a penalty to the Goannas. Rolling away in the tackle. I think that was the quarter time siren I heard in the background. And they'll take a break here. So they will have the drinks break now. As we approach 20 minutes in the first half, it's Camden 22, Goannas nil here on MacArthur Sports Radio. We'll take a short break. Back with more soon. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team at Forte Financial Services. The team at Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deal for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au or call them today to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. We're back here at Onslow Oval in Camden. 22 points to nil, Goanna's lead, uh, Goanna's trail Camden on the Forte Financial scoreboard. Good evening, David Bowen and the crew at Forte Financial. It's Mike Sheen with you for Saturday Night League. The Crosstown Derby, Goannas and Camden from Onslow. So we see the Goannas on the attack. That's a good run from Aaron Viles. Ball out the back. Second phase ball. It's Niger to the right-hand side inside the 10. Only about four or five metres out from the line on this broadcast side of the ground. Dummy half is Moe Moe. Short ball finds Karen Akau. He'll play it on the last. Slow play the ball. Moe Moe, dummy half. Back to Viles. Puts a little grubber kick towards the uprights. It's been bobbled. It's six more for the Goanners if they want it. That's uh, Jer uh, Joseph Fala Alaval. He'll play it under the right hand upright. They'll get six more. That's time off as well. So let's see what referee Briscoe is doing here. Is he sending him back to the 10? No. They'll play on quickly. They've got numbers to the left hand side here, southwest. Can they finish in the corner? That's the far winger in Tomotu. Tomotu being held up only a couple of metres out from the line on that Argyle Street side of the ground. And I think they've scored in the corner there, Southwest. They have. That's more like it from the Goannas. 22 minutes gone. The Goannas are on the board. So it's 22 points to four for Forte Financial. Let's confirm who that try scorer was for the home side. They are on the board early here, Southwest. And that's what they wanted to see early on, the home side. On the board, get some points, give, get, a, get a bit of momentum, a bit of confidence. Just hasn't come up on my screen yet who the try scorer is for Southwest. But they've got their opening try. Inside 25 minutes, that's more like it from them 
this evening. They'll be happy with that. And now the conversion attempt. About 25 metres out. And only a metre or two in on that far side of the ground. That'll be the eastern side of the ground. Our constructions banner behind him. A few of the Camden Rams trying to put him off. Kick is away. Conversion unsuccessful. It remains Camden 22, Goanna's 4. For Forte Financial, that replay for F2 Sportswear. Came down the left hand side. They got the repeat set. And they scored in that far corner to make it 22 points to 4. So the Goanna's on the board inside 25 minutes. It's a good start for them, and they'll be looking to keep that going. As the Goanna's bring it out of their own end, coming down the short side, Sarah Kalu going for a dart. Up towards the 40, they're trying to drive him over the touchline. No. Can't stay in the field of play. He goes into touch. Had Mitchell Baird there for support. Uh, all in vain as the ball goes over the touch line. So it'll be a scrum feed to Camden. And in fact, uh, won't be a scrum feed. It'll be a turnover. So they've each had one turnover and one scrum for Case Statewide Solar. Penalty count is 4-2 in favour of the Rams over the Goannas. Mike Shane with you for Saturday Night League, MacArthur Sports Radio. Group 6 League live action, Alex Cannon puts the ball down. And I think this time we'll get the scrum feed for the Goannas. They're doing well here, making it a contest, which is all Mark Baird and the coaching staff at the Goannas would be asking for. Make it a contest, make it a, a challenge for them. Make them earn it. That's exactly what they're doing on this cool Saturday night in Camden. The home, well, the hometown side, I should say. Not the home side, the hometown side. Camden Rams in their traditional red, white and blue. And we've got the hoops on tonight. Not the old V, the navy blue jersey with the red and white V as we've seen in years gone by. Wearing the hoops tonight with the white panels on the side. Goan is in their scarlet and white trim and black shorts and a penalty to the Goannas inside the 10. So a penalty count evening up here it's 4-3 in favour of the Rams for case statewide solar 25 and a half minutes gone on the AWPM civil clock in the first half and the Forte financial scoreboard reads Camden 22 Goannas 4. As Viles sends it high and into touch but I think it's come off a Camden hand. So it'll be a turnover to the Goannas. Would have been a scrum in years gone by, but this year it's a turnover. The second of the evening for the Goannas. They'll play it now about 35 metres out from the Camden line. Good attacking opportunity here for the Goannas. They take it forward now. That's uh, Booker the lock. Taking it forward. Not making a lot of ground here. Bailey Dickinson in there making the tackle. With a couple of others. So short of the 30. That's Moe Moe out of dummy half. Good run from Verb Moe Moe. Plenty of experience from the number nine. Plays it on the 20. Back to the right hand side. They come Viles through the hands. And here's Niger. Sarah Kalu trying to hit and spin his way through the line. Can't do so. Brought down 19 metres out. It's going to be wrestled to ground, is he? No, they're going to... A little bit of afters here. Sarah Kalu didn't appreciate the extra attention. Briscoe says, go back and play it. So they do. Niger, short ball for the second row in current cow. And he'll play it about 15 metres out. Last tackle arm goes up from Briscoe. Moe Moe, Viles. Puts it high, cross field, up they go, down they come. That's been knocked on by Camden. And it'll be a scrum feed to the Goannas. 
10 metres out, 20 metres in, west on the eastern side of the ground. 22 points to fall the score line as we approach half time, ticking towards the break. On our clock, which is not the official one, is still about uh, 12 minutes remaining. And that was uh, Moe Moe with the try for the Goannas. So 22 points to fall the score line. They've credited the conversion successful, but I'm sure it missed away. And for the Goannas, it was Aaron Viles with the shot at goal. I'll play it now. The Goannas looking for a second try. They'll go at a dummy half. Little hit and spin move there. Won't get through. Held up. Back to the 10 they go. Book of a lock forward in there. That was Moe Moe looking for a daily double. I'll play it now. To the right-hand side they come. Bit of a bobble there from Yasi. Yasa rather. Amy Yasa. Plays it inside the 10 by a couple of metres on the last. Moe Moe fires it back. Viles puts a cross field kick up. Up they fly once again. Bodies in the in the line, but it looks like again a knock-on from the Goan from the Rams. So the Goan is applying some real pressure here in the first half. They've been really competitive tonight, which is what you want to see. 11 minutes remaining in the first. 22-4 for Forte Financial. Camden over the Goanas. It's been a good contest so far tonight, and that's what the Rams are looking for. They'll get the scrum win. Viles at first receiver took on the line, took on uh, Brad Hopkins, and that was a mistake. The veteran back rower plays it and makes the tackle. Moe Moe finds a runner there. That looked like uh, Joseph Fuller Alaval. He'll play at five metres out. Moe Moe out of dummy half has a little scoot. Driven back, two and three there to stop him. Beside the right hand upright at the bowling club end of the ground. Out of dummy half they go. Sloppy pass on the second hop. Picked up there by Niger. In fact, that might have been the halfback in Fa'apito. Playing it. Moe Moe goes left for Viles. Takes on the line. Can he get it free? No, that's the last. Arm goes up from Briscoe. What's the last play option here? A little grubber kick through the line. Wasn't the worst kick. Brackenhofer did well and crunched in a big tackle. That's a great hit there from... I think that was Sarah Kalu who lined up the captain coach of the Rams. They're really up tonight, the Goannas, for this one, the Crosstown Derby. Hopkins, three and four there to stop him. And he'll play it. He's still inside his own quarter by about four or five metres. Rams only just getting to their own 20 now. They're not even there yet. Still a couple short cannon out of, in fact, that's Ceruto from dummy half. They go to the right-hand side of the... Goan is defence, but no way through. Suricalu makes the tackle with Baird. They'll go out of dummy half now. This time it's Canham. Little chip kick over the top. Taken on the rebound, on the follow through by Mayer. Still the last. Speechley puts the kick through downfield. They're chasing through the Rams. Can they get there first to force the try? Yes, they can. And that'll be the other centre in uh, John Martin getting over for a try. So about 31 minutes gone when Martin adds his name to the score sheet. And it's 26 points, 2-4 on the Forte Financial scoreboard. Camden having to earn it. They had to go the long way for F2 Sportswear on the replay. They went long way downfield. Cannon made the kick downfield. It sat up for Martin on the bounce, but it was a long run downfield. And they had to work for it, the Rams. But they got there in the end, and Martin... Gets his first try of the night, the fifth in total for the the visitors. Kept going to say the home side in Camden, or in Camden, but this is not their home field. But this is the uh, home ground for the Goannas. And Brackenhofer should throw it over from in front, make it 28-4. Group six double tomorrow. I'll be at Sid Sharp Oval for Oakdale and Campbelltown City. Curtis Woodward and Keith Payne heading to Thirlmere. Should be a belter down in the Wallandilly 
Thirlmuir and Mittagong. That one never fails to disappoint. As Bracken Hoffer adds the extras. It's 28 4 for Forte Financial. Camden leads the Goannas. We've got about seven and a half minutes on our clock in the first half remaining. Here at Onslow Oval tonight. Very breezy and cool Saturday night in the MacArthur. We'll take a break at half time. About seven minutes away. As we wait for the restart of play now. Kick off away in the direction of Brackenhofer. As the Rams bring it out of their own end up towards the 20. That's a better start to the set for them. Scored one try after half time, one try apiece after the oh sorry, after the quarter time drinks break. It's one try apiece. The Rams did all the damage in the opening 20 minutes, four tries to none. In fact, uh, no, that is correct, four tries to none. As the Rams roll upfield once again, once they get that momentum going, the Rams, they're really dangerous in this opening half. Still about six and a half minutes remaining. It's 28 4 on our sheet for Forte Financial. There's Ceruto, short ball to the right hand side, and it goes to ground. Going has come away with it on their own line. That was a good opportunity there, the short ball from Ceruto on the F2 Sportswear replay. And we've got time off here. About six minutes remaining in the first half. It looks like we've got to go in as player down in back play. Just going to see what. Uh, oh no, we've got to go in as player down back here on the on the 40 meter line. He's uh, slow to his feet. I think he's going to be all right though. That looks like the 19. Is it? For the Goannas. Trust you're enjoying the coverage with Mike Sheen tonight. That's me on MacArthur Sports Radio. Group 6 League Live for your Saturday night. Number 14 for the Goannas is uh, Anthony Booker. Referee Briscoe. Telling him to go back a few more metres. It's back underway now. Six minutes remaining in the first half. And it's been all, well, predominantly all one-way traffic. The Goanners have certainly made them earn it, though, in the second quarter. Uh, Camden only the one try. And they've been, there was some concerted attack inside the Goanners' attacking quarter. Inside the Camden 20. Uh, led to one try, but several good opportunities as well. As they work downfield now, the Rams having to defend. Southwest going to the far side of the ground. That's a good run downfield. Up towards halfway, the go is coming back to the open side right now. Home fans and supporters wanting a penalty. Referee not obliging. That's the last tackle. They'll keep it alive here. Kick downfield, not a bad one off the boot, I must say. Ceruto lets it bounce. Kirk, the captain Kirk, wheels around. But there's a wall of scarlet and white to greet him. And he makes it just onto his own 20. 16-4 Camden is uh, Steely Brown, back from injury. Suffered an injury in the representative matches early this year. So good to see Brown back in the... Rams colours over the 30. He'll take a run. 32 metres out from his own line. Centre field. They go to the right-hand side. No way through there. Camden defence, or the Goanna's defence, holding strong on this occasion. Kerr out of dummy half goes for a run. That's a good run from Will Kerr. Over the halfway, made 15 metres. Ceruto, not the best pass to Speechley on the last. Kick over the top, won't sit up for the number six. Nicely read by Richard Niger at the back. And he's brought down about 10 metres out from his own line. Now clock showing four minutes, 10 and counting in the first half. Going his trail, 28 points to four for Forte Financial. The clock for AWPM Civil as we tick inside the final four minutes of the first 40. It's been a good quality first half tonight, that's for sure. Both sides really ripping in. 
A lot of people would have expected Camden to rack up a real cricket score in the first half, but the Galwanas have more than matched them. But the class and the polish of the Rams has seen them home or seen them in front as we approach the break. Kick now on the last. It's thrown out wide. They're appealing for a forward pass, not getting it. Sarah Kalu wrestled by Bracken. Hoffer brought to ground, 37 metres out. It'll be a turnover on the last. Bracken Hoffer to play it. Barking orders. Kerr out of dummy half. In fact, that was Kirk finding the replacement in Ben Powers. Austin plays at eight short of halfway. Kerr for the 17. That's Jacob Meyer. He's been good for the Rams in the last few weeks. Plays it a couple of metres inside. Goanna's territory and a penalty to the Rams this time. That's their fifth of the evening for Case Statewide Solar. 5-3 the penalty count. Make that 6-3 and 10 in the bin. For repeated infringements, that's uh, Anthony Booker. With, uh, what have we got, two and a half minutes remaining. Professional foul for the lock forward for the Goannas. He'll have 10 minutes on the sideline plus half time. So he won't be back until about eight minutes into the second half. What can the, the Rams do here before half time with the man advantage? That's Peruru with it. Peruru winding up. He's been good the last week or two. Peruru. There's Brackenhofer. Out wide. Sarujo cruises through for an easy double. Gets his second of the night. There's the whistle. So a try to the Rams makes it 32 points to four on our sheet for Forte Financial. With only a, about a minute 40 remaining in the first half on the replay for F2 Sports where the back-to-back -back penalties help them downfield. Brackenhofer worked it to the left-hand side, found Mason Ceruto running the angle straight through the line and an easy try to the number one. As we approach half time here at Onslow Oval, just over a minute remaining, so there won't be much action after this, Jared Brackenhofer will take his full allocation of time. And then he'll line up the shot at goal. And we're approaching a minute remaining first half. It's been a good quality first half of rugby league from both sides. Cannon with a double, Ceruto with a double. Martin and Speechley, the others for the Rams, six in total. Moe Moe, there's the hooter in the background, so that will be the half-time break after this kick, which is successful. And at half-time, it's Camden. Well, you wouldn't say comfortably in front, but they do certainly dominate 34 points to four on our sheet at half-time on the Fort A Financial scoreboard. We'll take a break. The second half coming up shortly here on Group 6 League Live on MacArthur Sports Radio. We'll be back shortly to bring you the best of the on-field action from the team of Group 6 League Live. Back here at Onslow Oval, half-time in the Group 6 Rugby League Saturday night match. And it's Camden leading Southwest Goanna's 34 points to four on our score sheet. Mike Sheen with you for the call tonight. Trust you're enjoying your Saturday night as we get underway for the second 40 minutes. It's all in front of the Goannas. Can't see them uh, coming back from here, but uh, uh, it's been a good effort from them in the opening half, and Mark Baird, their coach, would be delighted, especially with the fact they've kept Camden to only, and I say only as they slice through once again the Rams on the attack. They've got numbers on the right-hand side. Ceruto inside the 40, brought down 31 metres out from the line. Good run there from Ceruto. They come to the right-hand side. Speechley out wide, finds his centre in Martin, now the winger on this side, that's Jay Kirk. Plays it only a metre or two out from the line. In fact, that's the other winger in uh, Jonathan Griffiths. Now Ceruto. Looks like he's playing in the halves. That'll be too deep. Back to the 20 they come for a seven tackle set. We've had just under a minute in the second half. No change to the halftime scoreline of 34 points to four. Camden leading the Goannas on the Forte Financial scoreboard. 
So the point I was going to make, Mark Bear to be delighted that he's kept Camden to only, and I say only, 34 points in the opening half, and they've put on a try themselves. They had a good period there, about 25 minutes in. They had a good period where they kept the pressure on the uh, Camden line, forced repeat sets, and uh, made a few errors out of the Rams. So they were happy with that, no doubt. Uh, Brackenhofer and Dooney, the coaching staff, Aduna, the coaching staff for Camden, would be uh, pleased with what they've seen in the opening 40 minutes, but uh, would certainly be looking for more of the same. Our match day sponsors for today, Tint Me Up, Distinct Fire Services, Lime Dow Constructions, and Little Bean Cafe. They tell me, those in the know, tell me it's the best coffee in Mount Adam, so check it out at the Mount Adam Shopping Centre, Little Bean Cafe. Make sure you go and check out their, their wares. They tell me the coffee there is A1, so if you're in the Mount Adam area, head along to Little Bean Cafe and tint me up to get your car's window tinting done. Speak to the team at Tint Me Up, proudly sponsoring... The Southwest Goanas in 2021 as we see them coming to the right hand side of the Camden defence. That's uh, Tomotu towards the line inside the 20 on the last. Arm goes up from Briscoe. We've had two and a quarter minutes in the second half. The cross field kick is halfway back to the shopping centre car park. And that's ended up on the, uh, on the track on the outside of the oval here at Onslow. It went that far. Ended on, almost ended up back in the shopping centre car park. So Camden brings it back to the 20 for the restart. And the seven tackle set. Been a good start. They've shown glimpses here tonight, the Goannas. Certainly shown glimpses that they'll be able to be competitive. And I'm sure a win is not too far away for these boys in the scarlet and white. As we see Camden taking it upfield once again. Check on that NRL score in a moment around the grounds for the Beer Shed. Holly Lee Road Lemire. Good evening to Jay Kemp and the team at the Beer Shed. As we see a ball back on the inside, and I think that's another try to the Rams. It is. Has he called it back? No, he said it's a fair try. So I think that's a try. I think it was uh, uh, Benny Quinlan getting over for the try. Three and a half minutes gone. In the second half. Making it 38 points to four on our sheet for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sports where they worked it down the left hand side. Did the Rams and Quinlan got over in the end. So we'll go around the grounds in the NRL for, for, for uh, the beer shed. Holly Lee Road Lemire. Full time in the early match this afternoon. It was Canberra 20. Canterbury 18, so the pressure off Ricky Stewart for the time being, and at full time in the 5.30 match, it's South 32, that is full time, South 32, Cronulla 22, the night match, the Roosters and Cowboys, Magic Round in Brisbane continuing tonight and again tomorrow with another treble, we'll keep you on top of all the NRL action here on Group 6 League Live on MacArthur Sports Radio. So wins to Canberra and also to South Sydney tonight. Conversion attempt was unsuccessful from Brackenhofer. Repeats his effort of the first half, missing the opening attempt. He's gone four from six tonight with the boot. And uh, touch judge Matt Navin just giving me a wave on the through on this broadcast side. Damien Briscoe had a chat to Damien before the game. And uh, it's great to see Damien back in Group 6 Rugby League. As refereed at higher levels. And back in charge of this one tonight. You know, quite a few unavailables. Certainly the refereeing ranks with the Oztag. I think it's the state championships up in Coffs Harbour this weekend. So quite a few unavailables. I did also see on social media earlier today that... Uh, Hamish Oxley has been called up into the country men's side for the city country match tomorrow down at uh, Collies in Wollongong, the Collies Complex. We wish Hamish and all the country boys all the best of luck tomorrow. If we get a final score out of that one, uh, while we're on air, we'll send it that through to you. And if there's any news out of that game as well, we'll bring that to you during Group 6 League Live. As I said, I'll be at Sid Sharp Oval. Should be a really good game tomorrow. Oakdale and Campbelltown City 
I'll bring you that one tomorrow afternoon. Curtis Woodward and Keith Payne will be at Thilmy Sports Ground. Should be a belter. Thilmere and Mittagong on MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. So tune in to MSR Extra or post the links tomorrow for the call of those games. Make sure you tune in for all your Sunday Rugby League here on MacArthur Sports Radio, the MacArthur's sports leader. This afternoon it was Rugby Union. Tonight it's Rugby League. We double up again tomorrow with more Rugby League. I think of a better way to spend a weekend than watching the footy around the MacArthur. Whether it's with a Gilbert, a Sharon, a Steeden, all the over, all the round ball. Great to be at local sport across the weekends. And bringing it to you through MacArthur Sports Radio. Sarah Kalu for the Goanners from the scrum win on the second tackle. Wrestled to ground, slung back about five or six metres. Pulled down about 32 metres out. Referee says too much in the tackle. Penalty goes to the Goanners. That's the first of the second half on our sheet for AW uh, for Case Statewide Solar, rather. Case Statewide Solar bringing you the stats tonight and every time we call Group 6 Rugby League throughout 2021. Good evening to Tom Casey and the team at Case Statewide Solar. I know Craig Davis has had Case out there, Case Statewide Solar, installing the solar panels on his house, and he recommends them highly. So if it's good enough for Craig Davis, it's good enough for me. Case Statewide Solar, proud sponsors of Group 6 League Live in 2021, along with AWPM Civil, and also our regular returning sponsors, F2 Sportswear. Got the F2 Sportswear on tonight. I can tell you, you need the hoodie on tonight, that's for sure. Also, Forte Financial Services, and the Beer Shed, Holly Lee Road, Lemire. Great to be with you. Thanks to all of those businesses. Viles cutting through the Camden defence. They've threatened a few times tonight, the Goannas. Can they put something on here? Moe Moe for Fa'apito. And Calvin doesn't have Hobbs beside him tonight, but he's got Moe Moe at dummy half. He'll play at about 30 metres out from the line. Viles to the right-hand side. Niger tried to cut through a gap that closed very quickly. Brackenhofer made the tackle. About 20 metres out from the line on the far side of the ground. They come back to the left-hand side now. Viles puts it high. Cross field towards the uprights. Up they go. Ceruto did very well to pull that down. Mason Ceruto beats the first couple before he gets wrestled to ground. Amy Yasa tried to stop him. Did enough to slow him down, but eventually he's pulled down near the 40. A great run there from the number one. The Rams rolling upfield now. They've still got a good half hour or so remaining in this one. And they're out 38 points to four for Forte Financial. The Goannas now on the defensive. Five metres inside their own half. They come to the right-hand side. Camden. That's Benny Powers. Austin plays at 15 inside. Goannas territory. Pretty well centre field. They go back to the left-hand side. Brackenhofer. A little dab chip kick over the top. Will it sit up? It will sit up. That's set up beautifully. Room service delivery for the winger on the far side in uh, Jay Kirk. And Captain Kirk gets over for a try 10 minutes into the second half. Extending that lead just a little bit further, making it 42 points to four in favour of Camden over the Goanners for Forte Financial. And on the replay for F2 Sportswear, the kick from Brackenhofer got the room service delivery and Kirk did the rest. Saloon passage to the line for another try. I think, uh, no, that's only his first for the night. As the Rams celebrate another try, they've got the two points in the bag for tonight. And I'll be waiting on the results from tomorrow. The three games on tomorrow, should also mention that third game down at Victoria Park. Picton and the Oaks doing battle at Victoria Park, all those games kick off tomorrow at 2.30 along with the two-way covering. Thelmere and Mittagong, that should be a ripper down at Thelmere and the one I've got, Oakdale and Campbelltown City. Won't be a bad one. Certainly won't be a poor game by any means, but uh, two really good games plus Picton and the Oaks from Victoria Park in first grade. Brackenhofer with the conversion attempt. Has four from six on our sheet tonight, 20 metres out. About 10 metres in, flags wave it away. So he's not having the best night tonight, Jared Brackenhofer. Had a stellar night on, or stellar day on Sunday against Picton. Just trying to chase up that, uh, that sheet from then. Uh, 
find the right page. There it is. Uh, ended up with uh, seven out of, s I think it was eight out of eight in the end for him. And uh, Cameron Oitman, two from three. He's a notable omission tonight. The grade one hamstring tear, so you'd expect him to probably miss another week or two before he comes back into the side. But uh, not bad when you can bring Alex Canham with plenty of experience. The Rams making the error from the kickoff. It did go to ground. Not what the Rams were looking for after points. They say they set after points you need to complete. They couldn't even complete the catch on the kickoff. So the Goanas with an opportunity. 10 metres out, five to the right of the uprights. Working to our left in the second half. 28 minutes remaining for AWPM Civil. It's Camden 42, Southwest 4, but the Goannas on the attack deep to the right hand side. Sarah Kalu. Sarah Kalu nearly got through the line, fell over at the key moment. Short ball to the left hand side, found Karanikiao. Karanikiao within a metre or two. In fact, I think he's been held up. He'll go back to the 10 now, Ripenny. In fact, no, he'll only go back a metre or two, told to play it. Moe Moe through the hands. Fa'apito, Calvin Fa'apito towards the line. Only four or five metres out when he plays it. Ten to the left of the uprights. Working to our left. Moe Moe, short ball, finds Fala Alaval. And Fala Valau plays it. They come to the right-hand side. Sloppy pass taken on the bounce nicely by Richard Niger, the fullback. Niger towards the line. Only a couple of metres out from the line. There's the last tackle signal from Damien Briscoe. Moe Moe fires it. Viles through the hands. Sarah Kalu, did he get there? I think they've stopped him. They have. Good defence, Camden. They did very well to stop the big centre there. The former Magpie, now Goanna. Did very well. The Camden defence. The Magpies... Former centre and back, now in the Goanna's colours. Had a great charge towards the line, but the Rams did well enough to hold him out. As they come back to the left-hand side here, Camden, you'll probably hear the wind howling through our effects microphones tonight here at Onslow Oval, a very cool Saturday night. Not the biggest crowd in attendance, but they spread out around the ground here at Onslow. And play on the call. Zero tackle, Goanna's have it. That's Anthony Booker making up for it after his time in the sin bin. They come back to the right-hand side. They keep going down that right edge. The Goan is inside the 40, inside the 30. Only about 23 metres out from the line. Was that knocked out? Yes, it was. Penalty to the Goanas. The second one of the second half. Penalty count 6-5 overall for... Case statewide, solar 2-0 in the second half to the Goannas. Niger straight up the middle from the tap. They go pay wave style tap and go up the middle. They're only about 10 metres out from the line. They come back to the left-hand side. That's Booker taking it forward. Also Booker plays it. Camden come away with it. Referee says play on, play on. Ball to the outside. It's Jono Griffiths away and racing down the far touchline in front of the Camden bench. They're urging him on. He puts the ears back. In fact, it's uh, Jay Kirk for a treble. And Kirk is over for the try in the corner. A long-range intercept try to Jay, uh, to Jay Kirk on that far side of the ground. Makes it 46 points to four in favour of Camden over the Goannas. But that was all against the run of play. 15 into the second half. The Rams deep in attack, or deep in defence, turn defence into attack very quickly with a long range effort. Jay Kirk going the distance and he's got a double tonight. It's been a case of doubles all round. Doubles on the main, we've got three doubles on the main. Canham, Ceruto and Kirk, it's 46-4 to the Rams. Brackenhofer with the conversion attempt now. Hear the music playing in the background. Fans entertaining themselves on this cold Saturday night. Brackenhofer from out wide. Waved away once again. So not having a good night. Jared Brackenhofer had eight from eight on Sunday. 
He's only kicked four from eight tonight. It remains 46 points to four, and thankfully the Goanners say he's missed a few shots at goal because it would be well over 50 they'd have raised the bat. But the Goan has certainly been competitive tonight in this, uh, this match against Camden, the Crosstown rivals. Not so much a local derby, but uh, certainly a rivalry across town on the southern end of Camden tonight, for those not familiar with the geography of the area. Karani Kiao with the restart. High ball to the right-hand side of the Goanna's defence. Liato was there to make the tackle. Rams coming back towards the middle of the ruck. That's... Uh, Jack Quinlan. Jack takes the run. Can't get through this time. They go to the left-hand side. Once again, switch ball back on the inside. Was a nice one. Beat the first tackle. They've got support. The grubber kick through the line. Will it sit up? There'll be a second kick there. Towed through by the Camden Rams. But the Goanners fall on it. About 20 metres out from their own line on the far side of the ground. The Argyle straight side of the ground. As they work back upfield now, the Goanners. 27, 28 metres out. I'll come back to the centre of the field. Good defence from Camden on their own 30. On the Goanna's 30, rather. Moe Moe out of dummy half. They're up quickly on the wing of their Manuia Tomotu. Tomotu has worked well for the Goanna's. Now Viles with the kick downfield. Not a bad-looking kick. Can he find the line? Yes, he can. That'll be a 40-20 to the Goannas. So they'll get six more and a great attacking opportunity here. That was well inside the 40. So a 40-20 to the Goannas. They've certainly switched on tonight. Ball gets sent back into the field of play for the tap restart. Only 10 metres out from the line. Take the tap now. Southwest. Can they post a second try this evening here at Onslow Oval? Vo uh, Moe Moe. Viles now trying to step off the left foot back into the line, into the heart of the Camden defence in front of the left hand upright. Moe Moe, dummy half. Has a look. Niger. Niger. Niger for the line. No, he's not going to get that down. Referee Briscoe says he was held up. Back to the 10 comes Richard Niger. Been threatening tonight, the fullback. Just over a minute remaining in the third quarter, if you like, of the Saturday night match. Moe Moe out of dummy half. That's Booker. Also Booker. Plays it. Only about seven metres under the black dot. Crash ball up the middle this time. Nothing doing there. That's the last. Moe Moe out of dummy half. Has a little scoot himself. The number nine. Can he get it down? Fighting? No, I don't think he has. Referee Briscoe says held up in goal. That'll be a turnover on the 10. And there's the hooter in the background. We'll take another break here. Three-quarter time. And the drinks break in the second half. It's Camden 46. Going as four on the Forte Financial scoreboard. You're on MacArthur Sports Radio, the final 20 minutes coming up after this. If you need to get your uniforms in order for the new season, then make sure your first stop is F2 Sportswear. F2 Sportswear can design a new strip for your team with a range of sports covered and can do business wear as well for that new corporate look. F2 Sportswear can produce a kit for the smallest squad right through to a full sporting or corporate wardrobe with quick turnarounds on orders being completed in around four weeks. Head to f2sportswear.com.au for more information or a quote on your next uniform. F2 Sportswear are proud sponsors and clothing suppliers of MacArthur Sports Radio. Are you having trouble paying your energy bills because of coronavirus? Do you need help to stay connected? Good news, your energy provider has to give you extra time to pay. So give them a call. If you're not happy with the result, call the Energy and Water Ombudsman New South Wales on 1800 246 545 or visit e1.com.au. We're free, fair and ready to help. 
1800 246 545. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team at Forte Financial Services. The team at Forte <coughs> Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deal for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au or call them today to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. Back here at Onslow Oval into the final 20 minutes of this one and a penalty to the Rams, their first of the second half. Not rolling away in the tackle. So the kick for touch now. That was only on about the second or third tackle. Brackenhofer. Which way is he going to go? He's going to take the tap, in fact. Big Bailey Dickinson back on the field. Another of those products from that famous football factory in the MacArthur St. Gregory's College, Campbelltown. Speaking of which, a great win for St. Greg's in the first round. The first match of the Schoolboy Cup this week. Defeating Hunter Sports High from memory, it was 28 points to 8. Liam Sutton, certainly a name familiar to uh, Group 6 followers, the Sutton name, son of Nathan, uh, had an excellent game at halfback from all reports and led the St. Greg's boys around very well. As we see Camden working down the left-hand side here, another chance for points for the go -inners. have done well to hold on. Haven't really given away too much. Scored a try early in the second quarter of this match, if you like, after 22 minutes, but long ball out wide here, finds John Jonathan Griffiths, has his centre on the outside, didn't go to him and got dragged down, Martin was there, that's the last tackle, Griffiths plays it, Speechley, finds Filoaki, Ceruto, through the hands, it's gone forward anyway, Gowen has come up with it, and they'll bring it out at their own end. And a couple of metres out from their own line, that was Sarah Kalu doing the work, cleaning up in the end. But the Rams threatening to score more points. 18 and a half to go here at Onslow tonight. It's 46 points to four. Camden leads southwest in the Crosstown Derby. Tomorrow we've got, I'll bring you Oakdale and Campbelltown City from, full, from uh, Sid Sharp Oval rather, not forward. Sid Sharp, that'll be a penalty for a dangerous tackle. That'll be a penalty to a for a dangerous tackle to the Goannas. Certainly wasn't malicious, but the uh, tackle went well beyond the horizontal. The legs were raised, certainly skyward. Damien Briscoe, I think he's going to call out Jacob Meyer. And also, by the looks of it, uh, Bailey Dickinson, the front rowers. Now I can see uh, Steely Brown out there. And a lot of concern being shown for the Goannas player. That's been put on report. So that'll be investigated by the uh, judiciary. So Mayer and Brown in trouble there for that tackle. Certainly the legs lifted well beyond horizontal there and facing the wrong way. And the trainer down assisting the Goanners player. Just can't see who it is. He's on his on his back. So it makes it difficult to uh, tell who that is but the Goannas now trailing 46-4 but it's only been it's at three tries so 12 nil in the second half it's only been a 12 nil scoreline that's uh, Mitchell Baird down on his back and sitting up now so uh, certainly a positive sign on his uh, now he's upright and everybody here at Onslow Oval appreciative that he's certainly upright he may not he may have a bit of a headache tonight that's for sure but uh, he's certainly upright and uh, doesn't look like needs major medical attention but uh, he's I think he'll sit out the last 18 minutes he's a little bit groggy there the uh, winger for the goanners and getting a Healthy round of applause from Camden. 
Healthy rivalry building between these two clubs. First year in first grade for the Goannas. Camden with that vast history in the top grade. And the Goannas, the new boys in town. Must say they run it uh, quite well here southwest. As we see the penalty given for the dangerous tackle. The Goannas kick for the far touch line. The uh, if you like the clubhouse touchline in front of the old grandstand here at Onslow Oval the old open air grandstand good crowd given it's a Saturday night a cold Saturday night at that for the Crosstown Derby they'll make the return trip later in the year to Kirkham they'll certainly enjoy playing there now the tap finally taken Going as I'll give them this much, they have ripped in all night. Certainly no uh, backing off or uh, taking it easy. They have ripped in just as hard as they have in the first minute, and we've got 17 to go past the hour mark, and they are still going just as hard. Only the one try to their name tonight, but they have certainly put in a a big effort and big defence there from Camden, muscling up on the Goanners. Certainly. Pride on the line there. They don't want to give them anything here tonight. The Goannas. That was Daniel Greg Williams being put on his backside. Now it's to Motu. They know he's dangerous. Moe Moe, dummy half. Files. Finds uh, Fala Alaval. Pops it out the back. Did well. That's uh, Booker. Also Booker. Brought to ground. 35 metres out from the line. The referee says he's lost it in the tackle. Interesting call there from Briscoe. Not sure about that one, but ruling goes the way of the Rams. Scrum count on the case statewide solar stats sheet. I've got it uh, five scrums to two in favour of the Goannas. They've also had two turnovers to one as well. So penalty count is 7-6 to Camden. 3-1 in the second half to the Goannas. The most important one, the Forte Financial scoreboard, 46 points to four. Camden leads the Goannas, and we've got on our clock 15.55 remaining here at Onslow tonight. Keep talking about that double header of action tomorrow. The two matches we're broadcasting. Ball's on the deck, Goannas come up with it. Moe Moe towards the line, referee's blown it up. The referee has blown it up, the Goannas were away. I think the I think the knock on's going against the Goannas here out of all of that. Aaron Viles. A little confused and bewildered. Befuddled, bewildered and bemused, if you will, by the decision. No, that it looks like it'll be a Goannas scrum feed, so that's confused everybody. As we see the scrum fed and won by the Goannas. About 30 metres out from the Camden line. Now they'll come back to the left-hand side. Biles, stuttering run. Inside the 20, not quite. Centre field. Inside 15 to go here at Onslow tonight. Here's Fala Alaval. He'll play it about 12 metres out. Moe Moe to the right-hand side. They've got the arms free, Goannas. That's Liato towards the line. Only a metre or two out. Big Jeremiah Liato, the Bullfrog, plays it. Back it comes. Viles out wide. Has a runner there. Can't force his way through. That's Daniel Greg Williams on the last. Plays it a metre or two out. Moe Moe. Back to Viles. Is he going to kick? Yes, he does. Little dab kick. That'll be too deep. The Fred Flintstone won't do you this time. It'll be back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. Inside 14 to go. Score not really a factor at 46 to 4 Camden. But uh, they certainly are causing some headaches here, the Goannas. Making it difficult. Our match day sponsors tint me up. Little Bean Cafe, the best coffee in Mount Annan. Distinct fire systems and Lime Dow Constructions. We thank them all for their support of the Goannas in 2021. 
Great to see these businesses, local businesses, getting behind local football teams each week. If you want to get involved in MacArthur Sports Radio, get in touch with us during the week. MacArthur Sports Radio at gmail.com is the email address, or get in touch with us via social media. As we see the little grubber kick through the line from Camden. Good pick up there, was it? No, I think it's been fumbled and it's a try to Camden. Here's a try to the Rams. Just couldn't pick up who that was. That might have been uh, Jono Griffiths getting over. So it's been about tw 10 or 12 minutes since they've scored a try. The, the Rams, they've raised the bat for the 50. 50 points to four with a kick to come for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sportswear came downfield. The little grubber kick through wasn't cleaned up by the Goannas. And the Rams were able to force it for the try. Conversion now being taken. It looks like it's uh, uh, Benny Quinlan taking the shot at goal. So uh, Quinlan, that's Ben Quinlan lining up the shot at goal. <coughs> we see the Rams with the conversion attempt. They've raised the bat for the half ton. And he's kicked it, Ben Quinlan, from mid-range on the right. He's one from one. Rackenhofer happy to hand over the kicking duties in the tee to the number 13, who didn't miss... It's only their fifth conversion of the evening, Camden. So that certainly has been a factor for them. And Ben Quinlan makes it 52 to four with 11 and a half remaining here at Onslow tonight. So it's been a much better showing from the Goannas tonight. They certainly have uh, put in a, a solid, well, currently 70 minute effort. Uh, only three, uh, sorry, four, three tries, no, sorry, four, I was right the first time. Four tries after half time. It's been a much better showing than they've had. Well, they've done that in recent weeks, but the first half was much better. Phil Owaki over the 30, up towards the 40. Good run there from the young front rower. And the error comes from the Rams on the second tackle. Brad Speechley making the error. Time it'll be a <laughs> scrum feed to the Goannas. Another one for the home side tonight. As I said, they've been competitive tonight. They've tested the Rams, only the one try to their name, but they certainly haven't rolled over and only four tries after half time. A much better showing from them tonight than we've seen in recent weeks. They certainly have made it a, a real test for the Rams, and I think that last try was uh, uh, John Martin, was it? So they've credited John Martin with the try there. I think he's now in the daily double club, as we see a penalty to the Goannas. On the opposite side of the field to the official uh, scorers, the, status the officials tonight. Penalty count on our sheet. Seven all tonight for Case Statewide Sol of the AWPM Civil Clock showing nine minutes 20 and counting to go in this one. Can the Goanners put on a second try? They posted one midway through the first half to Verb Moemoe. They haven't added another one. The Rams with uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tries. 10 try to one effort, so the goal kicking has certainly hurt them. Uh, they would be 60 if they'd kicked all their conversions. Ben Quinlan adding a little bit of respectability in the goal kicking department. He's 100% tonight. Brackenhofer only running at 50. Another penalty to the goal, and it's this time for a high tackle. I think referee Briscoe might be running out of patience here with Jared Brackenhofer's men. 
I'm back on eight and a half minutes remaining here at Onslow tonight. They tap and go pay wave style. That's a good run there from Anthony Osso Booker. Moe Moe, short ball, crash ball, won't work this time. Three and four Rams there to make the tackle. And out of the left hand side they come. Long ball out wide. Can it find the winger? Yes, it can. Referee says it was all right. Play on is the call. That's uh, Tomotu. The far wi the left winger for the Goannas. It looks like uh, Fala Alaval. Moe Moe. Files. Long ball out wide for Niger, who put it on the toe. It's been double toed ahead, but I think that'll be a knock on from. Uh, Southwest, will it? No. Saruto brought to ground, and he says tackle one. But that was a knock on from the Goanna, so no advantage. But referee Briscoe saying all fair, play on. Clock showing seven and a half to go here at Onslow tonight. 52 to four, the score line on our sheet for Forte Financial. Well, our replays for F2 Sportswear, and we've been going around the grounds for the beer shed, Holly Lee Road, Lemire tonight. Let's check in on the night match here at uh, Magic Round, 7.06 remaining in our game here. We've had uh, 10 minutes in the first half. It's Roosters 8, Cowboys nil, wrapping up those scores from earlier today. Cronulla went down to the Rabbits, 32-22 in the middle match. And the opening match was Cronulla, uh, Cambridge rather, 20, Canterbury 18. It's now 10 nil after 11 minutes in the first half of that one. The Roosters over the Cowboys. Three games coming up tomorrow to complete Magic Round. Would love to see a Magic Round in Group 6. Maybe two games on a Saturday and three on a Sunday. I don't know. Might be a challenge. Maybe somewhere like here at Onslow Oval might be a venue for a, a magic round, a central venue for a magic round. I don't know whether group officials are listening tonight, but it uh, might be worth a, a, a penny for a thought, that one, the magic round concept. Although with only the four matches at present, you'd be able to have two on a Saturday or uh, playing here at somewhere like Onslow have... Uh, Tackle two, signal by referee Briscoe as we get back underway. Might be able to get away with playing all four games back to back on a Sunday. First game at be about 10 a.m. I'd reckon. Might be about a 9.30 start. Almost an intercept from the Goanas there. Tomotu was away and racing but uh, couldn't hold on to the steed. And so we'll have a scrum feed to Camden. About... 35 metres out from the Goanna's line. Our clock showing six and a half minutes remaining. Not the official clock, of course. I'll say six and a half minutes remaining on our clock. And the Rams have done it easily tonight, easily enough. But uh, they certainly haven't uh, been given it all their own way. I'm sure Jared Brackenhofer and... Mark Doona and the coaching staff would uh, a little bit of acrobatics there. Six more is the call. Here's a chance for the Rams. Canham with the call. Take one there for a set play. They're running. I'll come back to the right-hand side. Brackenhofer showed it. Went to the line. Didn't get through. Another tackle was made. So we come to the left-hand side now. There's Meyer with a high ball. Picked up on the fly and the Rams are in for another try that was Steely Brown getting through for the try for the Rams so he adds his name to the score sheet with five and a half minutes remaining making it 56 points to four for Forte Financial and on the replay for F2 Sports where it wasn't pretty won't make for a good viewing for Jared Brackenhofer and the coaching staff but uh, try number 11 goes onto the, onto the score sheet and into the book. And the Rams doing it comfortably, but uh, 
Certainly wouldn't say they've had it their own way. It's only been a 22-0 second half on the back of a 34-4 first half. So hasn't been comprehensive by any means. They've certainly dominated the match easily and done it nicely, but uh, certainly hasn't been all one-way traffic. The Rams have been forced to earn it, as I said to a few people earlier. The Rams have, the Goannas have certainly got a bit of fight in them. They've certainly shown it tonight. They haven't rolled over. They've put in a solid 80-minute effort. I will say that. I will give them that much. They've put in a solid 80-minute performance. As the conversion attempt from Quinlan, he misses. He thought he'd kicked it from close range, but the flag stayed down. Remains 56-4. Camden over the Goannas, and thankfully for the Goannas, Goal kicking has been an issue tonight. Brackenhofer four from eight. Ben Quinlan one from two. On our clock inside, four to go. But the Goanners certainly haven't rolled over and uh, given it to the uh, Rams tonight by any means. They've made them earn it. It's been 11 tries to one, but they certainly haven't. Uh, it's an improvement on last week when Thilmy put 90 on them. Uh, they certainly have rallied and, and shown a lot more fight, which is uh, certainly heartening to see. As Filawaki, the young bull, charges into the line and comes out the other side, spinning almost on the whirling dervish. Brought to ground eventually, Liato. In fact, it was Fala Alaval uh, making the tackle. Ball comes loose, pops into the hands of uh, Tomotu, who's dangerous. Manuia Tomotu. Brought down 10 metres inside. Camden Territory, the Goannas. Can they post some points late in this one? Inside three minutes remaining for, for AWPM Civil. It's 56 to 4. Goannas trail Camden. Moe Moe gets the offload for the Goannas. Ball's on the deck out the back. Picked up by Falaval. Falaval. Apologies for if I've got his name wrong tonight. As we see bodies on the deck everywhere for the Goanas, including Moe Moe. The Goanas trying to post a late try for the home fans here at Onslow Oval tonight. It's been a tough afternoon at the or tough evening at the office. I was told earlier they did win the third grade match. Second grade went to Camden, but uh, they certainly didn't get it their own way, the Rams. And first grade more of the same. Went to Camden, but they did not get it their own way. We'll have a Got a little bit of a set two here with two minutes remaining. Everybody just exchanging pleasantries. I don't think they're going to the crown. I don't know where they go for their post-match function, but uh, I'm sure they're just sorting out who's buying the first round and uh, who's going to organise the free feed. So the Goanna's just getting a general caution here from referee Briscoe. Two minutes remaining. In fact, I think we've had a player sent off. It's uh, Anthony Booker. He's been sent off. Not sure what happened there. In the 79th minute, Anthony Booker sent off. Penalty goes to Camden. Take it underway, the two minute warning. Not that it matters tonight, it's one-way traffic. As we see the Rams downfield, that looks like Mason Ceruto over the 40 to the 30. Get the cover comes, gets the ball away, finds Captain Kirk. Kirk inside the 20, inside the 10, and he'll score and puts it down at the other end. So they've gone the length and scored here, Camden. Jay Kirk gets the first of the trebles tonight. He'll be the only one to get three tonight. There's the Hooter in the background. Making it 60 points to four at the final whistle. So, uh, Anthony Booker, thankfully, not a major blow losing him in the final minutes for the Ram for the Goanners tonight, but the Rams... We'll come away with a win in the end. They'll be relieved more than anything. Brackenhofer stepping up to take the final shot of goal after 
Quinlan's miss. He doesn't miss that one from in front. And he makes it 62 points to four at full time here at Onslow Oval tonight. 62 points to four in favour of Camden over the Goannas in the Crosstown Derby. It's been a tough night at the office for the home so for the visitors rather. Certainly a tough night at the office for the home side. But the visitors made to earn it tonight. 62 points to four, the final score. Going to be tough to uh, tally up the votes for our 3 2 1. Um, having a quick look here. I'm going to say Brackenhofer for three votes. He had a whale of a game tonight. Uh, Jay Kirk with two tries, uh, with three tries, gets the two votes. And the one vote, I'm going to give it to. Uh, I'm going to say Falaval. He had a really good game tonight for the Goannas. So we'll wrap it up there. 62 for the final score. I'm off to Oakdale tomorrow for the workers in City. Curtis Woodward and Keith Payne will bring you Thilmere and Mittagong from Thilmere Sports Ground. Have a great Saturday night. I'm Mike Sheen. Thanks for joining us on MacArthur Sports Radio, the MacArthur's sports leader. That was another game of Group 6 Rugby League. Brought to you by the team at Group 6 League Live.